to honor the word of God. Jesus. Please bear with me today. Don't look at my voice, okay? Just catch the spirit behind the voice. Are you there? Zachariah 4. Thank you, Jesus. Are you there? Please don't go to the New Testament, okay? Even if it's not far from it. Amen. I just gave you a hint. Are you there? From verse 1. Can we read? Now the angel who talked with me came back and wakened me. As a man who is waking out of his sleep. And he said to me, what do you see? So I said, I'm looking. And there is a lampstand of solid gold with a board on top of it. And understand, it's seven lamps with seven pipes to the seven lamps. Two olive trees are by it. One at the right of the bowl and the other at its left. So I answered and spoke to the angel who talked with me saying, what are these, my Lord? Then the angel who talked with me answered and said to me, Do you not know what these are? And I said, No, my Lord. So he answered and said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Who are you, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? You shall become a plain, and it shall bring forth the capstone with shout." of grace, grace to it. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, the hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this temple. His hands shall also finish it. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. For who has despised the day of small beginnings? For these seven rejoice to see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel, they are the eyes of the Lord, which scanned to and through throughout the whole earth. Father, I thank you. Holy Spirit, come and take the lead. I don't know how to preach. I have no knowledge. You know everything. You know the thought of God. You know the will of God. I pray that you take the lead right now. I want to come against any spirit that does not confess the name of Jesus Christ. And I surrender this atmosphere to the heavenly places. Someone say amen. amen. You may be seated. Thank you, Mama. She's very anointed, huh? So if I need you again, you're going to ask your baby to, you know, to allow you to come. I'm going to try to be calm today <laughs> as I need to manage my voice. But with the Holy Ghost, we never know. Amen. He is the pastor of this church. Can you please give a round of applause for the Holy Ghost? Can you clap for the pastor of the church? The Holy Spirit himself. Whatever he says we must do. Whatever he says we must do. Hallelujah. He is the one managing this church. You may take your seat. Who heard this quote, this verse? Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit. Who heard that before? 
Do you know that this was addressed to someone in particular? Hmm? We are in a class, we're studying the Bible, okay? Who knew that? So you, okay, some, but the majority didn't know, okay? So yeah, so when you quote that verse, it's coming from somewhere. And he was addressing someone in particular. His name is Zerubbabel. Now, who is Zerubbabel? We're going to talk about the Holy Ghost today. Because this is a verse that many people like to quote. But they don't know where it's coming from. So do you want to understand it today? Clap for the Holy Spirit. Who is Zerubbabel? You need to know that at that time, the people of Israel, they were in exile. Hallelujah. Amen. So they were not in their country. Amen. So it came a time where God wanted his temple to be rebuilt. And Zerubbabel, who was the governor of Judea, the Judah. Amen. He was the governor of Judea. And God asked him to rebuild the temple. Who was he? He had a Davidic origin. Hallelujah. He was a descendant of David. His grandfather was king of Judah. Hallelujah. Amen. Did you know that? So at some point, he had to go back to Jerusalem with a group of people that were in exile. They had to go back to build the temple or to rebuild the temple if you want. So when they went there, they faced opposition. Hallelujah. And this opposition frustrated Zerubbabel. So he started to build. He actually laid the foundation, but it was not done. Amen. So that's why God is coming and he says, Go tell Zerubbabel, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. The hand of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation but I'm telling you his hand will finish what he has started so not by might not by power but by my spirit hallelujah so I just try to give you the summary of this quickly for you to understand so people say that this temple that Zerubbabel rebuilt, he lasted longer than the temple of Solomon and Herod. Like combined, both times combined. His temple lasted more than those. Why? Because it was not done by might, by power, but by the Spirit himself. Hallelujah. Amen. So you need to know that. What is in your blood will determine your destiny. I was saying earlier that Zerubbabel had a Davidic origin. And God promised David that his descendants will rule. So the blood in Zerubbabel attracted the hand of God upon his life. You need to follow me this morning. Hallelujah. So what is in your blood? What is in your blood will draw your destiny. 
That's why you need to know what your fathers have worshipped. Uh -huh. Because the familiar spirits, they catch you, not because you look like your father, but because you have the blood of your father. So your blood attracts spirits. Are you ready for me this morning? You and I, we need to understand spiritual things. When we understand them, we can be victorious. Hallelujah. So I'm trying to go slowly for you to understand. Amen. So, we must be conscious of our new nature and our new identity in Christ. The old one is limited, but the new one in Christ has no limits. Hallelujah. We will become what God said that we are. You need to tell your neighbor, repeat. I will become what God said that I am. Because in the mind of God, you are already. But on earth, you must become what you are in eternity. Should I repeat that? We live in the Kronos. God is in the Kairos. In eternity. In the mind of God. In the mind of God. You are. Someone. In the Kronos. You are. Somebody else. So when God sees you spiritually. And he sees you now. It's not the same person. That's why when he came to Gideon. He said mighty. Warrior. Gideon said, where do you see that mighty warrior? I'm not. Because I've been failing so much. God said, you don't understand. The way I see you and who you are in spirit, you are a mighty warrior. So the way God sees us and who we are, must be manifested on earth. That's why I said, I will become what God said that I am. Because I am already. But I will become on earth. Hallelujah. So, Zerubbabel, as a descendant of David, he had to rule. So he became governor. And God told him, you need to go and rebuild the temple. You know, David said, cast me not away from your presence. And take not your spirit away from me. I was telling someone that at that time when David was speaking, the Holy Spirit was not well known. He was not officially introduced. But David knew him. It takes men of intimacy to know the Spirit of God. And we know that David was very intimate with God. So David knew the necessity of having the spirit of God. That's why he pleaded with God. He pleaded with God. And he said, please, do not cast me away from your presence. And do not take your Holy Spirit from me. <laughs> he knew the Holy Ghost. 
but the Holy Ghost was officially introduced in the New Testament. Hallelujah. So, this story is in the Old Testament. And God comes and he tells Zerubbabel, it's not going to be done by might nor by power. But by my spirit. So we talk about someone here that people are not used to. But God is trying to make them understand that in reality, everything that you see is done by the spirit. It's not done by your wisdom, by your intelligence, by your beauty, but by the spirit. Hallelujah. So, when you read Agaia 2, Verse 23, God said this, on that day declares the Lord Almighty, I will take you, my servant Zerubbabel, declares the Lord, and I will make you like my signet ring. <laughs> my signet ring. For I have chosen you declares the Lord Almighty. You need to know that God will use you as a mark for your generation. Uh, I think I just spoke to three people in this room. Maybe this word is just for me. That's why I'm so relaxed this morning because I already took my, my part. So if you don't want to take yours, too bad. I have come to announce you that God will use you as a mark for your generation. There is something that you will do that your peers, some blab, did not do. Did not do. Do you believe in that? I, I don't know about you, but when I see myself I receive the inner testimony that I am a gift for this generation. I know it. I don't need people to tell me. I have the inner testimony of the spirit that I am a gift for this generation. And God will use me as a signet ring to mark my generation. You need to know that of yourself. Otherwise, when the wind takes you here, you go. It takes you here. You don't know who you are. You don't know your identity. You don't know your importance. You don't know your status. You don't know your power. You know nothing about yourself. Who's going to respect you? Who's going to follow you? You don't even know where you're going. God will use you as a mark for your generation. Because when you have a signet ring, you use it and it represents your name. It represents you. So when God is saying, I will use Zerubbabel as a signet ring, he's telling Zerubbabel, I will make you represent me. <laughs> oh, do you understand? So someone becomes the signature of God. Oh, no, you don't understand. It means that for every official matter, for every official document, we put a signature, right? Who knows that? Even if you write an official letter and there is no signature, it is no longer official. Do you know that? So God is saying the same way that the document is official, 
you, 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 you. I will use you as my signature. <laughs> you don't understand. It means that when you are doing something, it is not you doing it. It is God doing it. Because you are the signature of God. He says, Zorobabel, I will make of you my signature. Hey. Ah, uh -uh, you don't understand it. You don't know who you are. I pray that you know who you are. You are fearing the wizard and the witches of your family. <laughs> no, you don't know who you are. You are the signature of God. Hey, you represent God where you go. That's why when you see the, the Jewish people, they look arrogant. Have you seen them? If a, a Jew comes here, you're going to tell the difference between us and him. I'm telling you, if you have met them, they know who they are. Even if you do a business, they will come. They will do the same business. They will be above you. Because, not by might, not by power, by my spirit. They know God told them there will be the heads, not the tail. So the way they behave shows that they know who they are. From today on, the way you think, the way you speak, the way you walk must demonstrate you are the signature of God. They can mess with people, but not with you. I said not with you. I said not with you. You know, there are people you don't touch. Hey. I don't know if you are among those people. Are you? Are you? I want to see the hands. From today on, you must refuse that what is not from God is not your portion because you are the signature of God. Zorobabel, I will make you my signature. Oh. Hmm. Jesus said, you shall receive what? A power. Coming upon you. And you shall become what? My witnesses. Hey, student of the Bible. Study. We're going to have exams. Hallelujah. You shall receive a power. In Acts chapter 1, right? And you shall become my witnesses. In Judea. Samaria. All over the world. This is what the Holy Ghost does. So this power I was talking about was the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will use you as the signature of God. When people will see you, they will no longer see you. They will see God. That's why Peter could pass by and his shadow could heal people. Remayata. <laughs> he passes by. It was no longer him passing by. It was God passing by. Oh, you don't understand. When we use, they use this on the forehead. Because they don't have time to touch everybody. And they put that on people. Boom, healing. Boom, miracle. You think those people were regular humans? Uh -uh. When the Holy Ghost comes upon you, you become the signature of God. You represent God. Where you go, God goes. What you say, God says. Ah, oh, no, you don't understand. You know, God made me understand something. My daughter... It is not by might, nor by power. You, your job, is just to speak, and I will do. 
So this is something I understood. There are things I don't have myself. But if I speak over your life, you will have it. Because it's not me. Parce que ce n'est pas moi. He made me. Il m'a fait his signature. Sa signature. So il a fait de I moi say, sa signature. Ce que je dis. He says it. Il le dit. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. If Amen. you don't know who you are, people will mistreat you. Si tu ne sais pas qui tu es, les gens vont te maltraiter. But when they'll come to you. Mais quand ils viendront. They will stop the circle. The circus. Ils vont arrêter leur cirque. Amen. Amen. The Bible says La Bible dit that God sealed us with His Spirit. Que Dieu nous a scellé avec son esprit. Mm-hmm. This is too deep. I don't have time to go too deep on that, but I will try. Je okay. Je n'ai pas le temps en profondeur sur ça, mais j'essaierai. Because we don't have time. Parce okay? que nous n'avons pas de temps. So God sealed us with His Spirit. Dieu nous a scellé avec son esprit. So remember, I told you that God chose Zerubbabel. Je vous ai dit que Dieu a choisi Zerubbabel. And the blood of Zerubbabel, le sang de Zerubbabel drew the hand of God upon him. A tiré la main de Dieu sur lui. And I was telling you Et je te disais that in your family, que dans ta famille, there are some spirits. Il y a des esprits. They come to you qui viennent vers wherever toi. Wherever you go on this planet, partout où tu vas sur cette planète, they will come to you. Ils viennent vers because toi because of your blood. À cause de ton sang. Because your blood Parce que ton sang carries information. Transporte des informations about your lineage. Sur ta li- lignée. Hallelujah. Amen. So they will make sure Donc, that what is in your blood que ce qui est dans ton sang is getting reproduced. Est reproduit. So if there is failure in your family, Donc, s'il y a la fa- la, euh, l'échec dans ta famille, these spirits, ces esprits, they will make sure you always fail. Que tu vas toujours échouer. If in your family si dans ta famille, there is poverty, y a la pauvreté, those spirits, ces esprits, they will see in your blood ils vont voir dans ton sang, there is poverty, y a la pauvreté, they will make sure ils vont you never get rich. Que tu, que jamais tu ne deviendras riche. I'm telling you. Je te le dis. So your blood Donc ton sang attract the spirit. attire des esprits. Now, Maintenant, where you are right now, Là où tu es, what kind toi? of spirit are you attracting to your life? Quel genre d'esprit tu attires dans ta vie? Uh, you're gonna tell me where is she going? Tu vas me dire où est-ce qu'elle You va? know the word of God is too deep. La parole de Dieu elle est profonde. When you read it, quand tu la lis, it looks simple. Elle semble simple. But it's too deep. Mais elle est profonde. When you take the time to disseque quand it, quand tu prends le temps de la disséquer, <laughs> you're gonna find things that will blow your mind. Tu trouveras des choses qui vont t'éblouir. So when you lose blood, donc quand tu perds du sang. Do you know that you lose your life? Que tu sais que tu perds ta Who vie. Who knows that? Qui le sait? You know that. When you lose your blood, quand tu perds le sang, you lose your life. Tu perds ta vie. Okay. So it means that life is in the blood. Ça veut dire que il y a la vie dans le sang. Life is in the blood. La vie est dans le sang. Are you with me? If you don't agree, you say I don't agree. Si vous n'êtes pas d'accord, dites-le. And you take your responsibility right Et now. Prenez vos responsabilités. And you demonstrate that I'm wrong. Démontrez-moi que j'ai tort. If I'm wrong, I will accept. Si it. j'ai tort, je vais l'accepter. Amen. Because Amen. We, we are all learning. Parce que nous apprenons tous. Life is in the blood. La vie est dans le sang. So when you lose your blood, Donc quand tu perds ton sang, you lose your life. Tu perds ta vie. But you also know that. Mais est-ce que tu sais aussi que when you lose your life, quand tu perds ta vie, your spirit leaves your body. Ton esprit quitte ton corps. Hmm? When we say someone is dead, quand on dit que quelqu'un est mort, it just means that the spirit left. C'est juste que son esprit est parti. Amen. Amen. <laughs> So there is a tight relationship. Donc uh, il y a une relation étroite. étroite between the blood and the spirit. Entre le sang et l'esprit. Follow me. Suivez-moi. So between your new identity. Donc entre ta nouvelle identité and the spirit of God. Et l'esprit de Dieu. There is no gap. Il n'y a pas de vide. All can, they don't understand. Ils comprennent pas, ils sont tous calmes. The Bible says this. La Bible dit ceci. In John 1:12. Dans Jean 1 verset 12. To all those who receive him. À tous ceux qui l'ont reçu. To those who believe in his name. À ceux qui ont cru. In his name. À son nom. He gave them what? Il leur a donné. The right. Le droit. The power. Le pouvoir. To become. De devenir. Children of God. Enfants de Dieu. Not born. Pas né from flesh de la chair another version says une autre version dit not born pas né from natural descendants des descendants naturels you don't understand 
So, to those who received Jesus, God gave them the power to become children of God. Not born from the flesh. Not born from the natural descendants. Not born from your biological father. But born from the will of God. Let me repeat that. To those who receive him, qui reçu, he gave them the power. Donné le so for you to become a child of God, you must receive Dieu, a power. Tu dois une and puissance. when that power comes, the Bible vient, says, the blood that was in your veins is no longer the blood of your father, but it becomes the blood of God. De Dieu. Ay, 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 ay. Mm -mm. Mm, you don't understand. Tu ne comprends pas. He said those la, those il, ones he dit cela they are not born ils ne sont pas nés from the flesh de la chair they are no longer born ils ne sont plus nés from their biological de parents père biologique so the curses donc les maladies that were in the blood of the fathers dans le sang de leur père ay 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 arosaya tsavayata to those who receive Jesus, he gave them the power to become children of God. Not by the blood of their parents, but by the very blood of God. God has a blood. Mm. So your new blood will draw a new destiny. Ah. People of God. The devil is a lie. He makes you believe that you are still under the curses. You are still under the power of witchcraft. But I have a good news for you. Your blood is a new blood. The Bible says to those who receive it, he gave them the power. He gave them the power. He gave them the ability to change their blood. Oh my my. Hey, do you know who you are? Est-ce que tu sais qui tu es? Hmm. You draw the spirit of God. Tu attires l'esprit de Dieu. Toward you. Vers toi. Jesus said. Jésus a dit. The Holy Spirit. Le Saint Esprit. Is upon me. Est sur moi. Because he has anointed me. Zorobabel was anointed to rebuild the temple. The spirit had to come to help him to rebuild. I've come to tell you whatever you're trying to build and you are not able to build there is a good news for you there is a new blood and your new blood is attracting a new capacity a new power a new potential a new destiny you are not born from your father you are born from God from God from God People make you believe that you are cursed because they want to manipulate you. They preach you all day that you are cursed, that you need to be. No. If you accepted Christ, si tu as accepté Christ with all your heart, de tout ton cœur, I am telling you, je te dis, you have a new blood. Tu as un nouveau sang. You have a new blood. Tu as un nouveau sang. Now because of the challenges, à cause des défis, the enemy will make you believe te fait croire that you still have the old blood. Qu a, que tu as encore but it's just sang. a matter of time. Mais juste une question de what temps. you are Ce que tu es, spiritually will be manifested. You need to understand it is not because you are facing opposition that God is not with you. The Bible says they oppose Zorobabel. Zorobabel. Ils se sont opposés. Ils se sont opposés à Zorobabel. But God had sent him. Mais Dieu l'a accepté. Has sent him. L'a envoyé. Il avait envoyé. Dieu l'avait envoyé. God had sent him. Dieu l'avait envoyé. 
But despite the fact that God had sent him, malgré le fait que Dieu l'ait envoyé, he could not finish. Il ne pouvait pas finir. Because people frustrated him. Parce que les gens Because people opposed him. Parce que les gens se sont opposés à lui. That's why God came back. C'est pour ça que Dieu est revenu. He said, God tells so Zorobabel, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit. What the hand of Zorobabel has started, I say, his end will finish, and you will know that God spoke. Que Dieu a parlé. <laughs> Remo Sayanta. I know who I am. Je sais qui je suis. You may not like my look. Tu peux ne pas aimer mon apparence. I don't care. Je m'en fous. I know who I je am. Je sais qui je suis. I am the signature of je God. Je suis la signature. Wherever I go, je vais. God goes. Je vais. Whatever I say, je dis. God says, je dis. I am je suis the daughter la of the Messiah God. Hey. Who can touch me? Qui peut me toucher? Try. Essay. Clap for yourself. Acclame pour toi-même. Oh, Jesus. The mission God gave you La mission que Dieu t'a donné is not natural. Elle n'est pas naturelle. It is deeply spiritual. Elle est profondément spirituelle. That is why he said. C'est pour ça qu'il dit. Not by might. Ni par la force. Not by power. Ni par la puissance. By my spirit. Mais par mon esprit. He said, "Who are you?" Il dit, "Qui es-tu?" Oh, great mountain. Montagne. Oh, great mountain. Oh, grande montagne. So God knows. Donc Dieu sait that the mountain. Que la montagne. Is great. Elle est grande. <laughs> no, God is not denying your realities. Donc Dieu ne renie pas ton identité. Il ne nie pas tes réalités. Ni pas tes réalités. God is not denying your reality. Dieu ne nie pas tes réalités. He says, Il dit, Who are you? Qui es-tu? Great grande montagne. mountain. God knows. Dieu sait the mountain que la montagne is great. Elle est grande. But he says, Mais il dit, You shall become. Tu deviendras a plain. Aplani. Tu seras aplani. <laughs> And he said, Et il dit. You know, some version will put. Des versions disent. What are you? Qui es-tu? Mm-mm. Qu'est-ce que tu es? Qu'est-ce que tu es? But the true version is who are you? Mais la vraie version c'est qui es-tu? And even in French they put who are you? Même en français on dit qui es-tu? So God. Donc Dieu. Is personifying the mountain. Il a personnifié la montagne. Have you studied? Est-ce que tu as étudié? When you were in college or high school. Quand tu étais au lycée. The figure of speech. Uh, les figures de style. God is trying to tell us Dieu essaie de nous dire that behind that great mountain, que derrière cette grande montagne, there is someone. Il y a quelqu'un. Who are you? Qui es-tu? Big mountain. Grande montagne. Mountain is not someone. La montagne n'est pas quelqu'un. But God sees someone. Mais Dieu voit quelqu'un. Hey, when you read the Bible, be careful. Quand tu lis la Bible, fais attention. By the way, come D'ailleurs, for the Bible study. Venez aux études bibliques. We go deeper. Nous allons en profondeur. Those who come, clap for yourself. Ceux qui viennent, acclamez pour vous-même. Because Sunday, I don't have time to go Parce deep. Parce que dimanche, je n'ai pas le temps d'aller en profondeur. I go on the surface. Je vais, je reste en surface. Yeah, this is the surface. Ça c'est la surface. Hallelujah. Amen. Who are you? Qui es-tu? And what I like the most, he says. Et ce que j'aime le plus. He said. He dit. Who are you? Qui es-tu? Big mountain. Grande montagne. Before. Devant. Zorobabel. Zorobabel. He did not say. Il n'a pas dit. Who are you? Qui es-tu? Before me, God. Devant moi, Dieu. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. God doesn't even compare himself. Dieu ne se compare même pas. With your situation. À ta situation. Your situation. Ta situation. May be big before you. Elle peut être grande devant toi. But it's too little before Mais God. Mais elle est trop petite devant so Dieu. So when God speaks. Donc quand Dieu parle. He say, oh. Il dit, oh. Big mountain. Grande montagne. Who are you? Qui es-tu? Before. Devant. My little one. Mon petit. Aïe, 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 you don't understand. Tu ne comprends pas. You great mountain. Toi, grande montagne. Who are you? Qui es-tu? Before. Devant. My child. Mon enfant. My little one. Mon petit. My baby. Mon bébé. You cannot even compare yourself to me. Tu ne peux même pas te comparer à moi. How dare you? Comment tu essayes? Your situation. Ta situation. <laughs> you have the potential. Tu as le potentiel. To overcome it. De la surmonter. That's what God is saying. C'est pour ça que Dieu dit. Who? Are you Qui es-tu before devant Zorobabel? Zorobabel? 
The same way God comes to you. La même manière Dieu vient and vers he speaks to your situation. Et il parle à ta situation. And he says, et il dit, poverty, pauvreté, curse, mo- malédiction, barrenness, stérilité. Who are you? Qui es-tu? In front, devant, of my child, mon enfant. You will be. Tu seras a plain. A plain. It means that. Ça veut dire que. The person that God will use to make it plain. La personne que Dieu va utiliser pour l'aplanir. Is you. C'est toi. Because he compared that to you. Parce qu'il la compare à toi la situation. Not to him. Pas à lui. He's too high for that. Il est trop grand pour ça. When people come and they say, ah, Quand les gens viennent I wonder if disent, God can do it. Je me demande si Dieu peut le faire. Change my situation. Est-ce que Dieu peut changer ma situation? I want you to change your mindset. J'aimerais que tu changes ta mentalité. God is not the one really changing Dieu your situation. Dieu n'est pas celui-là qui change ta situation. He's using you to change your situation. Il t'utilise pour changer ta situation. He cannot compare himself to your situation. Il ne peut pas se comparer à ta situation. He will never compare himself. Il ne se comparera jamais to his own creation. À sa propre créature. Oh, you don't understand. Tu ne comprends pas. It means that whatever you're going through. Ça veut dire que ce que tu traverses cannot challenge God. Ne peut pas défier Dieu. It is challenging you. Ça te défie toi. It is challenging you. Ça te défie toi. So you donc toi have to rise. Tu dois te lever. And have, allow the Holy Spirit. Et tu permets tu vas permettre au Saint Esprit to tackle it. De dealer avec cette situation. You rise. Tu te lèves. God is already God. Dieu est déjà Dieu. But you must Mais toi, tu dois be clothed tu es, tu dois être recouvert with your new identity. de ton nouvelle identité. It is with your new identity C'est avec ta nouvelle identité that this mountain que cette montagne will become a plain. sera aplanie. So the game is not even with God. No. Non, le jeu n'est même pas avec Dieu. Do you understand Est-ce que tu comprends? So God was addressing Donc Dieu s'adressait a spiritual entity. Aux entités spirituelles. He was addressing a spiritual entity. Il s'adressait à une entité spirituelle. Hallelujah. Amen. Before Zerubbabel, who are you? Devant Zerubbabel, qui es-tu? Who are you? Qui es-tu? You are the representative of God. Tu es la repré- le représentant de Dieu. In your family, dans ta famille. In your country, dans ton pays. In your job, dans ton boulot. Wherever you go, là où tu vas, you represent tu God. représentes Dieu. Nobody can touch you. Personne ne peut te toucher. If people touch you, si les gens te touchent, it's because you allow them to touch you. C'est parce que tu leur permets de te toucher. In reality, en réalité, they don't have the right to touch you. Ils n'ont pas le droit de te toucher. When you read. Quand tu, Agaia 2, 21. quand tu lis à G2, 21, And I'm finishing. et je vais finir, say, Tell Zorobabel, il dit, parle à Zorobabel, Tell the governor of Judah, au gouverneur de Juda, that I'm going to shake the heavens and the earth. Je brûlerai les cieux et la terre. This is God speaking. Ça c'est Dieu qui parle. And I will overturn royal thrones. Et je renverserai le trône des royaumes. And shatter the power of the foreign Je kingdoms. détruirai la force des royaumes des nations. I will overthrow chariots. Je renverserai les chars. And the drivers. Et ceux qui les montent. Horses and their riders les will fall. Les chevaux fall. et leurs cavaliers seront abattus. Each by the sword of his brother. L'un par l'épée de l'autre. God is going to put confusion. Dieu va mettre de la confusion. In the side of your enemies. Dans le camp de tes ennemis. But look here. Mais regarde ici. God is saying. Dieu dit. I'm going to shake. Je vais ébranler. The heavens, les cieux, and the earth. Et la terre. Now, maintenant, the following verse, le verset suivant, is showing us, il nous montre, what is in heaven, ce qui est dans les cieux, and what is on earth. Et ce qui est sur la terre. We read it, you will see. Relisez, vous verrez. He said, I will shake the heavens, I will shake the earth. Je brûlerai les cieux et la terre. And I will overturn royal thrones. Je renverserai le royaume, le trône des royaumes. The Bible says in Ephesians 6. Dans Ephésiens 6. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Nous ne combattons pas euh, contre la chair et le sang. But against principalities. Les principautés. Against thrones. Contre les trônes. Against rulers, authorities. Contre, contre les autorités. God is telling us. Dieu nous dit. And he was telling Zerubbabel. Et il disait à Zerubbabel. When he said, I will I will shake the heavens and the earth. Je brûlerai les cieux et la terre. He will shake the spiritual entities. Il va ébranler les entités les entités spirituelles. That are in heaven. Qui sont dans les cieux. Those who are fighting you. Celles-là qui te combattent. Why is God saying I will shake the heaven? Pourquoi est-ce que Dieu dit qu'il va ébranler les cieux? There is not a problem over there. S'il n'y a pas un problème là-bas. He will shake because there is a problem. Il va ébranler parce qu'il y a un problème. 
So the thrones. Donc les trônes. They are spirits. Sont des esprits. Powerful spirits. Des esprits puissants. Fighting your family. Qui combattent ta famille. Fighting your destiny. Qui combattent ta destinée. So God is telling Zerubbabel. Donc Dieu dit à Zerubbabel. For you to do whatever I've called you to do. Afin que tu fasses ce pourquoi je t'ai appelé. I will shake the heavens. Je dois ébranler les cieux. And he explains in the following verse. Et il explique dans le verset suivant. I will overturn. Je renverserai the thrones. Le trône. Les trônes. Les trônes. So in the heavenly places. Donc dans les lieux célestes. There are thrones. Il y a des trônes. Those are big spirits. Ce sont de grands esprits. And he said, et il dit, I will also overthrow chariots. Je renverserai aussi les chars. And the drivers. Et ceux qui les montent. So when in the heaven the thrones are overturned. Donc quand dans les cieux les trônes sont renversés. The chariot. Les chars. Will also be overturned. Sont aussi renversés. You have not seen that. Vous n'avez pas vu. Come, we're going to study the Bible together. Nous étudierons la Bible ensemble. I gave you two years. Je vous donne deux ans. If you are faithful. Si vous êtes fidèle. You're going to preach like your pastor. Vous prêcherez comme le pasteur. Amen. You just need to learn. Tu dois juste apprendre. But it takes time. Mais ça prend du temps. And it takes the spirit. Et ça prend l'esprit. Ça demande l'esprit. Not your intelligence. Pas ton intelligence. No. Just the spirit. Just the spirit. Clap for the spirit. Acclaim the spirit. There are two dimensions here. Il y a deux dimensions ici. The natural and the spiritual. Le naturel et le spirituel. The heavens, les cieux, with their royal thrones. Avec leurs trônes royaux. Mm-hmm. And the earth. Et la terre. With the chariots and the drivers. Avec les chars et ceux qui les montent. We don't wrestle. Nous ne combattons pas against flesh la chair and blood, et le sang, but against powers, mais contre les puissances, against principalities. contre les principautés. Stand up on your feet, please. Tenez-vous debout. You are going to pray. Nous allons prier. Who wants to pray? Qui veut prier? Just five minutes. Just cinq minutes. And I want to remind you et j'aimerais, j'aimerais vous rappeler that this coming Friday que vendredi prochain we have our fasting. Nous avons notre jeûne. Three days. Trois jours. Amen. 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 You can do it. Tu peux le faire. For those who have been in that church. Pour ceux qui sont ici. For a long time. Ça fait un moment. You know that every time we take this. Vous savez que chaque fois fasting que nous prenons ce moment de jeûner de prière. God takes us to another level. Dieu nous envoie à une nouvelle dimension. So.